Jupiter looks simple in the night sky, but 2,000 years ago the Babylonians did something wildly modern to track it. They drew a graph, not of height or land, of time versus speed. Over 60 days, Jupiter appears to slow down. Plot that daily speed against time and you get a slanted line. Box it in with the axes and you've got a right-angled trapezoid. Now the kicker. The area of that trapezoid equals how far Jupiter moves along the ecliptic. In other words, they were treating distance as the area under a velocity-time curve, the core idea behind integral calculus, a millennium before medieval Europe wrote it down. We know this from five cuneiform tablets, dated roughly 350 to 50 BC, analyzed by historian of science Matthew Ossendriver. One tablet gives the same calculation in numbers, the others show the geometric recipe. No telescopes. No computers, just clay, reeds, and ruthless abstraction. So the next time you hear ancients versus moderns, remember, some of the smartest math and astronomy wasn't scribbled on parchment, it was pressed into clay. And yes, sometimes modern science is just catching up to what the ancients already knew how to do. One has to wonder what else the ancients were capable of. Can you think of any examples?